It's time now for at least in local sports and sports very successful night at the Wayne County Soccer Complex as Wayne County All-Stars won four district championships and all those teams headed to state in the first weekend of December. Those dates are December 1st and 2nd. The 12U Coed Team won district. They defeated Liberty 1-0. 12U Girls won the district. They defeated Coffee 9-1. 14U Coed Team won district. They defeated Long County 4-1. And the 17U Coed Team won District championship last night, they beat Jeff Davis 4-1. to one. Great crowds on hand last night. Hats off to the Wayne County Rec Department for hosting another great district tournament here in Wayne County. Again, Wayne County celebrates four district championships on Thursday night. The round two of the state playoffs in high school football get underway tonight. Here's a look at the quality of matchups. Balding, who defeated Wayne County, will host Troop. The BC Cadets are at home hosting LaGrange. Stars Mill hosts New Hampstead. Central Carrollton hosts Lovett. Stevenson hosts Luella. Perry's at Bainbridge. North Oak County hosts Cedartown. And Stockbridge hosts Westminster. 16 teams left after tonight. The field will be down to the Elite Eight. Other area teams still playing tonight. In AA, Pierce is at home tonight. They host Laney. Toons is at Thompson. Appling on the road to play Cook. In 5A football, Ware County on the road, they take on Warner Robins. Statesboro on the road there at Harris County. Coffee hosts Jones County. In 6A, Brunswick's on the road at Marist. 7A, Valdosta is at Carrollton. Colquitt hosts Westlake. And Camden is at McEachin. High school basketball teams again in action. They started Tuesday. The varsity girls won 35-23 over Brantley. Varsity boys lost a close one, 54-52 to Brantley. The girls played at Jeff Davis on Saturday. Both teams at Long County on Tuesday. And they traveled over Long County Blue Tide. The girls came Tuesday at 6. The boys game at 7.30. College football this weekend. Georgia will be on the road at Tennessee, taking on the Tennessee Vols. Kickoff set for 3.30 on CBS. Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets need one more win to become bowl eligible. They've got the Dogs next week, so they better win Saturday at home against Syracuse. It's an 8 p.m. game, that action on AM 1370. Georgia Southern in action Saturday. They kick off at 6. In Statesboro, they'll play Old Dominion, that action here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Other games of interest, Michigan at Maryland. Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh has accepted three-game suspension. NCAA has agreed to stop the investigation, so the head coach will miss next week's Ohio State game as well. But if the Wolverines make it to the Big Ten championship game, he can be back on the sidelines. Clemson plays North Carolina. UCLA takes on USC. Oregon State a favorite against undefeated Washington. Kentucky and South Carolina. Ohio State plays Minnesota. Notre Dame takes on Wake Forest. And Oregon takes on Arizona State. In L football last night, Baltimore defeated Cincinnati 34-20. Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow had to leave the game with a hand injury. He said he couldn't miss the remainder of the season. Falcons have a bye week, and the Jaguars are at home at 1 p.m. hosting the Tennessee Titans that game at 1 p.m. on AM 1370. MVPs of the Major League Baseball announced Thursday. No surprise, National League goes to Atlanta Braves outfielder Ronald Acuna Jr. American League goes to Shohei Otani, the LA Angels. Atlanta Braves made a trade yesterday. They pick up White Sox reliever Aaron Boomer. The Braves trade pitcher Michael Soroka, infielder Nicky Lopez, and minor leaguer pitcher Riley Gowans. That's going to do it for just in local sports.